Okay, here's part two of my exploit tutorial, which I haven't done in a week. And I hope I'm not lagging right now. It kind of feels like it. I don't know. Um, but the thing you need to do to get the exploit onto a USB stick, as like this one right here, is you first have to insert your PS1 game into the computer like that. Which I'm pretty sure that you guys know how to. And of course, recognizes it because it's CDR, but this is also a DVDR ROM. So I could have recognized really anything at the moment, any PS2 game. But what it um, uses is its um, source code. And I hate when it auto plays. Sorry about that. Um, just auto played on my computer. But it uses its source code and then create uses a title dot db thing. I I don't want to go into it because I'm I don't I've needed to get this up there for a week. But in this case, it uses the source code so that's 005.24. Uh, that one's 714 kilobytes, but it really doesn't need to make it that big. It's just like a loads off a certain game. But what this does is when I insert my game into this PS2, it will make this special screen. Oh, whoops, I'm just a minute. Okay, this special screen, like when I insert this game into here, close it. As you can see, if you can see anything, um, this is the normal PS2 browser. Uh, I'm pretty good at holding this. Now it's reading it in here, if you guys can hear. White screen. Sorry, I just didn't, I didn't show my white screen. Oh, I hate flickering. But if you can see it, it says, Loaded config, you launch.elf, Sienna. Z launch 4.12. Um, I have a bunch of things on here right now. I can show you my hard drive manager. That is right here. Yeah, it says it's not been formatted. But, no, I'm just gonna go to straight to HD motor. If my oh, I'm sorry. I forgot to put this back in just a second. Okay, sorry about that. Um, just a second. Something turned up wrong. Uh, maybe my hard drive wasn't put in. Let's turn it on this time. <sighs> sorry for all these cuts. Okay, it shouldn't load this time. Um, but what I'm gonna show you is my HD loaders. My H one of my HD loader games on my 10 gig that I found inside one of my other computers. Here's my 30 gig that I showed you last week. 30 gig. If you guys can read that. Then you guys can read that. So. Pretty fun game, but I don't, I don't really want to go into it. But I just want to tell you guys how to make it, and you guys need like an exploit. No, it's a title.db compiler, which you can find that on SKS apps. 
just Google it or something like that, or just PS2 apps. But this got um, this is a pretty good thing to use, and I am really white. But I'm gonna be putting this video up in like 10 minutes because I needed to do it for a week. Okay. I just got one virus detected. Oh snap. Okay, sorry about that. Um, yeah, but as you can see, it's still loading. And I'm gonna press the X button right here. And it says insertion. I'm gonna press the start button. This is gonna be really. Yeah, but that's my game running off the hard drive. It's pretty sweet and it's a good utility. Um, but yeah, if you guys like my video, right down here, like the five right over here, or if you hate it, over here. But I suggest putting it in the middle or over here. Thank you. And click that, I think it's gold now, that way. I don't have any banners. If I ever get any banners, it's going to be very awkward. It's going to be right down here. Ooh, I think I pointed right. Yeah, but and then there's favorite button down there. If he has, like, that much. Oh, yeah, and I also post comments down here, too. Well, um, have a nice day, and this is very small now. I'm trying to make it as small as I can, because I have low memory. Okay, I hope my skin... I hope I'm not like that. But, yeah, thank you for watching, and this is Cold World 1-3, and I'm out.